So the weight loss occurs and occurs dramatically because there are two very important things that can happen because of the changes of the surgery, okay? One, the surgery itself actually induces some very important changes in the metabolism of the person, okay? How the body processes energy is changed by the surgery. Sometimes people think the surgery just has some mechanical impact by really forbidding the person from overeating, right? Or from by helping them to take away hunger. Yes, those things do happen, but there are also what we call important metabolic changes. The way the digestive system communicates with our brain is actually impacted because many of the messengers that are responsible for that communication are positively impacted by the surgery so that a situation is created where the patient really finds it a lot easier now to lose weight than they did before, right? I mean, patients will be eating way less calories with the surgery than they did before the surgery. But patients also have adopted diets that were reducing their calories, calories even to that extent before, and yet the weight loss did not happen when they did this without the surgery, right? So the key here is that the surgery is not only reducing the amount of calorie you consume because you have a smaller stomach and also because you are less hungry. On top of that, the surgery induces changes to the metabolism, to the way the body processes energy. As you recall, Kamal, in the past, our society, the Society of Bariatric Surgeons, it used to co be called American Society of Bariatric Surgery, right? We changed that name. We now call ourselves American Society of Metabolic and Bariatric Surgeons because we believe that the changes that we induce are not only purely mechanical by reducing the amount of food the person eats, but there are changes that impact the metabolism as well, right? So this is really the foundation of the surgery. That's why the surgery is so powerful, right? But interestingly, over time, over time, that biology that drives the person's weight to go up wakes up, right? The body tries again to remember the weight that the person was before and it tries to induce that. So hunger may not return. The amount of food that the person can eat may still be the same, but if the person now changes their behavior and they start, for instance, eating small amounts of food continuously, particularly with foods that are very high in calorie, then they start consuming so much more extra calories than the body can quickly revert towards conserving energy and then gaining weight, right? So we tell our patients, there are some important rules after bariatric surgery. First of all, when you're eating and you feel full, listen to your body. If you feel full, don't eat anymore. That should be the most important clue. Don't eat if you're not hungry, right? Don't snap mindlessly. There is something that we call grazing, for instance. Grazing is really a word that we use to uh, point out to a behavior whereby without really being conscious, a person may be munching something on an ongoing basis. Obviously, this is highly facilitated by the way we live in our society right now, where food is so avoidable. Right? It's universal, it's everywhere, whether it's a workplace, whether you go to a store, you go to a bank nowadays. Come on, I remember if you know you go to a bank and at the teller they would have candies, they would have at the table in the lobby, right? They would have cookies. So everywhere there is stuff. And then if you're not mindful and you just had breakfast, but there are cookies there in that bank, you take them. There are some MMs on your work table, you take them. Somebody is celebrating something. So in the common area at work, there is right so that mindless eating can lead to a behavior of slow accumulation of calories that after a while, it can turn your weight loss really into a different direction and weight gain can start happening, right? So this really point out to the fact that yes, with getting when you're a powerful tool, now your stomach is smaller. Now hunger is not much of an issue, but you still have to watch out. That's very important.